Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I've got the first Christmas tutorial for you guys. I'm going to try and bring you a Christmas tutorial every Friday. So hopefully this will happen over the next month um, and I hope that you guys will tune in for it. So but for this first Christmas tutorial we've just got some gorgeous green glittery nails and some bauble stamping. So if you want to find out how I created this, then just stay tuned. So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using um, Dixie Plates stamping plate, and this is DP06, which is the Christmas and New Year plate. So, and I'm gonna be using the bauble um, image up here. So, and stamping polish I'm gonna to use today is Moira, and this is just the gold one. To stamp with today I've got the Dixie Plates Big Red Clear Jelly Stamper and I absolutely love this stamper at the moment, it is one of my favourites. And then I'm just going to use one of the Fabio Nails um, scrapers with it. So then I'm just going to use um, two Magpie products, so we've got Magpie Glitter in Holly which is this gorgeous Christmassy green and then I've got Magpie Dust. Gloria, which is the normal glitter dust. This isn't the new chrome one um, And this is just to go in the middle of our baubles to sort of make it a bit more sparkly to apply the glitter today I've got the magpie applicator and the magpie duster brush and then to do the little um, Gold sparkly bits in the middle of the baubles. I've got the magpie detailer nail art brush and then also a ring thing palette as well to mix the sort of glitter paste together and then gel polish wise I'm going to be using OPI gel color today and I've got stay off the lawn which is a nice dark green and then obviously I've got the OPI top coat as well if you're okay doing. so I've done two layers of the green gel polish cured in between each layer so there is the tacky layer still on here at the moment so the first thing that I'm going to do is add the magpie glitter in holly to some of the nails to the tacky surface so and obviously i'm going to do a bit of sort of a mix and match thing with the glitter because i like to do that at the moment where i do sort of a few nails a bit different so i've just poured some of the glitter into the lid i've got my magpie applicator brush just going to pick up the glitter from the brush So the middle nail is going to be the one where I'm going to put the baubles. So I need to sort of keep that in mind. So I'm going to do a couple of full nails. So I'm going to do the ring finger with a full glitter nail. And I'm just patting that into the tacky layer. I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. Then I'm also going to do the thumb as a full nail. Because that's a nice big nail, it's nice to have a full glitter one. And at this point I'm not rubbing anything in, I'm just patting in. So then, the pinky finger and the index finger, I'm just going to pat a little bit of the glitter onto the cuticle area because those are going to be our fade nails. So then what I'm going to do, with the full glitter nails, I am just going to brush the excess off from around the cuticle under the free edge with my duster brush. So you just want to make sure that the glitter is sort of not around any of your sort of sealing areas. But then I'm going to leave that sort of bit of glitter for a sort of a dabbing effect. So then for the glitter fade ones, again, I'm just going to go around the cuticle and then I'm just going to gently with the duster brush, like the corner of the duster brush, just feather some of that glitter down, but not a lot. We're not doing this as sort of a burnishing method because we want all of that glitter to sort of stay quite 3D. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to top coat those nails that I've done all the glitter on twice curing in between each layer 
and then I'm also going to top coat my middle nail once and cure that as well and then I'll be back with you. So they've now all been top coated so I'm just going to get a lint free wipe with some gel cleanser and I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer from all fingers. So like I said, the glitter ones have been top coated twice, but the middle one here has just been top coated once. So all of the glitter nails are now done. So we're just gonna focus now on the stamping. So obviously I've top coated this nail um, because it's a dark color. If I was just to wipe off the tacky layer without it being top coated, it can actually take off a lot of the coloring, which is why with darker colors, I prefer to um, top coat and then just buff. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've just got a buffer file here and obviously it's quite a fine buffer file. All I want to do is mattify this top coat. I'm not trying to etch it or anything like that. It's just literally trying to mat the surface so that the stamp will actually stick to it. So then once I've done that, just wipe off any dust with some gel cleanser and then you'll see as that dries that goes nice and matte so it's ready for stamping okay so obviously the stamping plate that i'm going to use is the dp06 which is the christmas and new year's plate i've seen quite a few people um use different designs on this plate so i wanted to kind of choose a design i'd not seen before but also i really really love this one here with the baubles and the stars in the middle so that's what we're going to use today so and i've cleaned my plate with pure acetone so polish at the top of the image, scrape down and across, straight down and quickly with my stamper and then straight onto the nail, really pressing in. So in this polish is quite sort of flaky so we just need to make sure that all of those bits are pressed down. So before we go on to top coat that stamped nail, we want to make a little glitter paste. So I'm gonna pop a bit of top coat onto my ring palette. Then I'm gonna get Magpie Dust in Gloria, which is this lovely bright gold dust. So I'm just going to get the normal, the normal Magpie detailer brush and I'm just going to scoop some of the dust up and I'm going to sort of just tap it onto the plate. I'm not actually touching it with my brush, I'm just tapping it on. Then with my nail art Magpie detailer brush, I'm just going to mix all of that together to make a nice glitter paste so and then just with some of it on my brush I'm just going to fill it in the middle of this stamping image with the star I'm not going to cover the whole image just want to sort of do a little bit on top of the image just to add a bit of sparkle to it. Just like that. So now I'm going to just cure that in my lamp. So then now that that's all cured I'm just going to top coat this nail twice, curing in between each layer. So then once those two layers are cured, I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer of the top coat and also this will remove any um, stamping polish from around the cuticle as well. And after that, I'm just going to add some cuticle oil. I'm using all that jazz cuticle oil in Captivate. And this one comes with a little dropper, so just drop on bit of cuticle oil all on to the nail and then we're just going to rub that in. So and then here is the finished look. So the, the little sort of 
bits of glitter that we just added to the baubles just add a lovely bit of glitter and the fact that it's more of a yellow gold than the pale gold of the stamping it makes it really stand out and obviously the green glitter is just absolutely gorgeous so i hope that you liked this first christmas tutorial guys please like and subscribe for future videos and i'll see you all again soon bye